So I'm in test place right now, and I'm pretty sure you guys know what gun this is. It's not the C7A2, it's actually the C8A2. This is a new carbine, and you unlock it at rank 128, but you can use it for free in the test place right now. So the thing that makes this gun special is actually the walk speed. So the walk speed right now is 15.61, which makes this about as fast as a knife, or like most melees, and then faster than pretty much any heavy melee. But to make it this fast, you need to put the carbine barrel, which is like the short barrel, and then also the remove stock, which when you do both of those, the recoil just gets insane. But that's why you put an AMT Terminator on it. In case you didn't know, the AMT Terminator basically makes the recoil less noticeable than when you're even using it through Saku Sight. I'm pretty sure this has a sight magnification of 1.1. Yeah, sight magnification 1.0 actually. So you pretty much can't see the recoil with this. But that's not all. Basically, I just showed you how to make it an incredibly fast gun, and then I showed you how to get rid of the recoil that comes with it. But that's just like half of what makes this gun OP. Okay, um, the server's kind of dead, but test place doesn't work right now, because they're redoing all the GUI, like everything's new. So there's a lot of bugs, and this is the only server that I could get in that works. But yeah, I said that there's also something else that makes this gun good, right? If you see here, it's got a 900 fire rate and 38 damage. So it's a three shot, 900 fire rate, basically no recoil, incredibly fast, and 30 ammo. I'm pretty sure if you put like 20 tactical on the C7 A2, you can make it a three shot or something, but it gets rid of 10 of the bullets. This keeps all of the bullets, doesn't make the recoil go crazy, and increases the damage. The only thing you're losing is headshot multiplier, which doesn't really matter that much. It goes from like 1.4 to 1.1. So bring down the head damage and then bring up the damage everywhere else. To me, it's worth it. Considering when I shoot at people, I basically only go for the body because my aim sucks. This lobby has like 10 people in it. I cannot find anybody. So there's also one other thing that kind of sucks with this gun. So since you have carbine barrel and hollow points, which are both used for close range, you lose a lot of the ranged benefits. And when I say a lot, I mean, it basically doesn't work long range. It's got a three shot to about 50 studs, but then at about 100 studs, it drops to a six shot. And yeah, the AMT Terminator gets rid of a lot of the close range recoil, but long range, it's not amazing. It's still really good, but it's not great. Like here, what can I shoot at? Like if I shoot at this window, it kind of hits everywhere on the window. And yeah, 30 shots and you only need to hit six, you can mag dump somebody, but I mean, you don't really want to mag dump somebody. Okay, server swap time. Yeah, test place may be very broken for a couple of weeks. So in the C8A2 or the C8QCB because I have a carbine barrel on it, there's only two ammo types that make it a three shot. There's the hollow point, which brings it to 38, and there's a 762, which brings it to 36. But like I said before, it drops the ammo down to 20. Oh, and I reset my sensitivity again, uh-oh. But yeah, with this, the recoil is not very usable. Ooh, Rygel's around too. Yeah, if I want to try to mag dump somebody, it's it's not working. I hit like one bullet out of 20. Now I just need to die so I can switch. So yeah, hollow point all the way. Back to my normal sense. Hollow point is just so much easier to control, and it does more damage. I mean, that doesn't really matter, because two damage is nothing. You can't really tell the difference at all. As long as it's a three shot, you're fine. But yeah, um... I don't know what this gun doesn't have, besides bullet penetration and range. If you're on any close range map, this gun should be kind of unbeatable. I guess you can use an LMG, but nah, C882 is so much better. They just keep coming out of the doorway. Any more? Nope. Thanks for marking. Yeah, they just funnel. Like, how long? Those were 85 stud kills. That's not super long range, but it's still pretty good. I don't really know what else to talk about. Okay, that was awful on my part. I did want to try it with some other scopes as well. So this is the Cobra EKP. I think it's got like a 1.5, 1.7 magnification. Yeah, the recoil is a little stronger. I mean, it is mostly camera recoil, which is good. But I mean, it's still a little bouncy. Ooh, there. Yeah, I don't know. The one issue with this gun is the accuracy. The bullets just kind of go left and right like crazy. It's not even something that you can fix with a compensator. It's actually just the carbine barrel being awful. I also wanted to try the DCL. Yeah, I don't know. Not too good. But I mean, I was thinking, how can they nerf this gun? Because right now, as I'm showing you, it's really strong. In a way, it's just a better C7A2, which is already a super good gun. Oh my god. 198 and then 110 studs. But yeah, like I said before, how can they nerf this gun? I mean, they can't really nerf it. The things that make this gun good 
are the three shot, which they can't get rid of without removing hollow point. And then there's the recoil, which I mean, they could make the recoil worse, but I don't think that that's a good idea because the recoil is already bad enough when you're not using all the anti-recoil stuff, I guess. I mean, they could make it a little worse. But then the fire rate. The fire rate, they can't change it. The only things I would do that would be the carbine barrel and the hollow point. But they can't just change it on this gun and not do it on any other gun. I guess the only good thing that they could do is just get rid of hollow point on this gun altogether. Okay, what's with the lag? I guess we just have to wait and see what'll happen. This gun's probably coming to the main game within like a month. It's been in test place for so long. That's why I'm surprised it's still this good because it's had all this time to test. That's why it's the test place. But they haven't really changed the gun at all. I mean, obviously they haven't been focusing on this gun because they've been focusing on the guns that just got released in the May update. But I mean, they still changed some stuff. So yeah, I guess we just have to wait and see. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Sorry it's been a while since I've made a video. I've just been busy with school. Don't worry, I'm not trying to kill the channel. Just had some other stuff that's gotten in the way. Today's Friday and hopefully I can have time to edit two videos. I've got a bunch of video files recorded. I just haven't actually edited them. So I'll edit this one and then see if I can edit a different one as well. And that video would probably come out Saturday or Sunday. I don't know, sort of just depends how I'm feeling. So if there isn't a video in the next two days, I probably got busy and didn't edit both of them. So yeah, that's my bad. All right, that's the end of the game. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.